So my seedlings are up and growing. Sometimes you know something, but you get so excited you forget it. So I'm really thankful to people who reminded me that I needed to move my move them much closer to the light or they would be leggy. So thank you to everyone who pointed that out to me. I'm so excited to see them growing, though. They're doing good. I've never been able to grow poppies. I've tried starting them indoors. I've tried starting them outside. The only way I've really been able to grow them well is if I buy them already started, like from a store. But this year, I'm gonna try something different. The Impatient Gardener has a great video and she says that she struggled with growing poppies until she figured out this is how she plants them. And it's, she's got a really cute video. I'll link to it down below. But it is that you literally just take some where you want them to grow and you just throw them down <laughs> and you throw them down this time of the year because they need to this is february because they need a cold period before they actually start growing harvesting some mustard greens that we planted back last fall. Most winters we can have uh, greens all winter long because um, we might we do get some cold weather but still they manage to hang on and they're kind of more tender after they've been frosted on a few times. But so I'm just cutting off the tops of them and leaving the, uh, the root and they will probably uh, branch back out for us so we can have more before springtime arrives and we remove them to plant something else here. Mustard greens have a, and some people don't like greens at all and some people are crazy about them and then some people prefer turnip greens or uh, kale or even spinach or something like that. Mustard greens have a peppery kind of bite to them. So a lot of people don't care as much for them as they do for maybe turnip greens, which are milder. We have some turnip greens too. I think I'm gonna go for the mustard this time.
have a unique smell, so while I'm cutting them, you can kind of smell that peppery goodness. Trying to get some leaves in them. Here we are out here taking this tree stand down because season is over and we're going to take it down, take it back to the house so it doesn't set out in the weather all this time. So next year it will be easy to use and it won't be all filthy and dirty and gross. I can really hear the creek right now. All that rain. How thick it seems. Ten deer coming right down this ridge, and I was hoping to catch one right under me, going down through there. Yeah, it's a place to eat up with tracks. Last one. Yeah. <laughs> it's great.
Okay. I don't know if there's anything I can help with, but I can offer moral support <laughs> from down here. Hands free. No. But I have a fear of heights, so. Which is amazing that I ever got on four airplanes. Hmm. Yeah. I guess once I was on them, I realized it was too late. Yeah, once you're on them, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you just kind of praying that nothing bad happens. Which it rarely does, so. I don't know, but I feel like I have more control here. Like. I could, I would be like, no, I can't come up there and do that. I felt like I had to fly. I didn't have a choice. So I was like, well, it's not, it's kind of like deferring the blame. <laughs> if something happens, it's your fault, Mr. Pilot. But if I fall out of this tree, it's my fault. So we're going to take this one down, have it for next time, and you may choose to put it on the same tree again, but you may not, so if you don't, at least you'll have it and you won't have to go take it off this tree to take it somewhere else, so that'll be nice. Alright, here we go. Okay. And there she is. And there's me. <laughs> so what now? You just take your sticks out? Mm -hmm. Take him down as I can. This is a really genius system. Smart. How cold would you say it is out here? Huh? How cold would you say it is? About 30. It's not too bad up here in the sun.
Okay, there's another stick. See, like, you're only, like, I don't know, 14 feet off the ground right now, and then you're descending. That's even too much for me. 14 feet, and I'm, like, start to shake, and I'm, like, uh-oh. She's, like, I'm almost on the ground, and I'm already, like, crying. Just can't do it. Okay, we got our last stick. Second to last stick. Get that down. You'll be able to take the other one off from standing on the ground. Yep. Okay. These things are pretty quick. I'm just old and slow at it. A no, they. People, people look younger and does does us a lot more, or a whole lot more efficient, quick at it than I am. No, this has been pretty fast. I mean, I think this has only taken like, I mean, all in all, it'll have only taken about ten minutes for you to go up there and bring it down I mean that's that's pretty quick and I would say I would be motivated to take my time so I don't fall and beat my head in by accident so I think you're doing great And that is a wrap. You can kind of see up here, but we had to saw some limbs out to climb the tree. And now we go back down on the bottom. How how tall up there is that? Is it like 20 feet, 30 feet? That's about 20 right there where I was at. Yeah, about 20 feet. About 20 feet too tall for me. <laughs> I guess I could if I had to. I could if I had to. If I was forced to do it, I'd climb up there. It's, it's been laying here ever since. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, my little thing I made. Yeah, the viewers want to know about that. So tell them what, I mean, they're going to be like, what is that? What is that? It's just a spacer so that I can lay it on my stand. And when I put my sticks on and cinch them down, it gives it something kind of soft and cushiony to cinch up against and they don't rattle and don't make noise and that's just a yeah tell them what it is <laughs> that ain't nothing but a big long tube sock stuffed with rags and then covered in gorilla tape and look how squishy it is i mean it's squishy but it's still firm it's actually really smart and i was thinking about making some couch pillows like that <laughs> i don't know how comfortable that would be you could put a dang pillowcase over them kind of see how that works now how they go on to the kind of like the bolster there to keep keep the sticks from rattling and clanging around when you're wanting to be kind of quiet and stealthy it's a great idea and it probably actually makes the whole thing more comfortable to pack out too so you looking for this or this thing under here okay and these things are so short they're hard to get up Ooh, i could see that dang Sun is definitely kind of coming in here now. It's nice. Get the sunshine. And voila, there it is. Put a rope on there so you don't lose it. Ready to pack up. No, it wasn't. It's a little, a little slow me up. No, gosh, like I said, I really felt like that was pretty dang quick. Um, good to take your time. 
So you can see there's, in, there's all kinds of deer tracks in here. Deer tracks and daddy tracks. <laughs> now there can be some teddy tracks. Yeah, that's like a, a dang deer highway. What I would call a major highway here. I don't know if you can kind of see. Maybe I can point. So it kind of just, find my finger there, and it kind of just goes right out through there. Hard to see because of, like, the color on the camera. But, I mean, you just have to take my word for it. It's a big trail. Major deer highway. Also, there's some really cool icicles out here. Maybe I can get them to show you. Hey, I'm gonna go over here and see if I can see the icicles. So, there are some really cool icicles out here. We saw them on the way up, and I thought I should go over here and show everyone the icicles because they're like as long as my arm. <laughs> also, work the camera. I am wearing my dad's shirt and my dad's pants because that's what daddies do. They let me borrow their clothes and I'm cold and their clothes are warm. So, Okay, here we are. Ready for the icicles. There they are. Isn't that cool? So, let me put my hand up here for um, size. So this is my hand, my arm, and this is an icicle. So that icicle is longer than my arm. This big one here. And it is solid. Oh, oh, oh I broke an icicle off. So here is your icicle. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that beautiful? That's so cool. So that's your icicles. There. Okay. We're going to head back out, and I brought the icicle with me to show Corey. And it's very cold, like very cold, so I'm motivated to go quickly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 